These are devotions for people at a social distance. I was reading this morning in John chapter 5, um, towards the end of the, of the uh, chapter, where Jesus is, gets into this extended um, discussion with the people in the crowd about why they don't believe in him and why they're, they have trouble uh, dealing with him. Um, and at the end, or near the end, he says this, If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? Now, in the context of, of John uh, chapter 5, of course, this is all about uh, how Jesus is, is claiming and demonstrating that he is the fulfillment of what is found in the Old Testament. Uh, this is all about Jesus and his uh, authority and his uh, credentials. But I found it kind of interesting thinking of the, the, the larger principle uh, behind this that, that kind of applies to the kinds of things we're dealing with today. You know, we're living in a world where we seem to run into a lot of people who believe really weird things uh, or things that we have a hard time with. You know, people who uh, believe certain things about wearing masks or not wearing masks, people who uh, refuse to believe uh, some pretty well-established uh, scientific facts. And uh, we struggle with the fact that people believe or strange things or, or refuse to believe uh, some sensible things. And I was just thinking of, of uh, the principle that Jesus says here. Belief is not just about that one thing. You know, people can believe all kinds of weird things, but everything we believe, I think Jesus is suggesting here, is actually connected to something prior to it. And so if, for example, you struggle with, uh, you know, the efficacy, the need uh, for wearing masks, is that really because uh, you have a very firm beliefs about masks or is there some other belief behind it uh, that actually needs to be examined? And uh, what is that belief? And I don't necessarily know what the, what. Um, the underlying beliefs are behind some of the strange things that people believe. But I suspect that in many cases, it is because of things that they uh, are afraid of, uh, changes they can't deal with, uh, a, a basic insecurity that needs an appeal to a certain unchanging authority. Uh, it's the underlying beliefs uh, that we never get around to deal with as we deal with the 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 top facing beliefs that are so disruptive or that we react so strongly with. Uh, so I would just remember the things that people believe, even the weird things that, that people believe, they don't simply believe in isolation. There's something underneath that. And honestly, you're probably not going to change anybody's opinion by arguing on the surface thing they believe. But if you can get down deep and understand, you know, those those deeper lying beliefs, those deeper lying insecurities, fears, whatever they may be, uh, if you can connect with somebody on that level, that's what actually can matter and what can make a difference. That was how I applied this particular verse uh, to my life today. Lord God. We do deal today with all kinds of people who believe all kinds of things and we often react and maybe even react badly to the things that uh, they believe or fail to believe. Help us to deal with people as people. Help us uh, even with someone who believes something that, that we react strongly to. Find compassion, understanding, empathy for that person because it's only at that level that anything can change. Amen.